Hi, my name is Brad, and I'm an education specialist here at the Detroit Zoological Society. In this episode of Mary, Not Scary, we are going to be talking about bats. How did bats become a Halloween mascot? And should we really be scared? Let's find out. So scary bats and cats and rats and spiders Please be aware, do not be afraid Bats are one of the spookiest and most enduring images of Halloween. But how did this image of this harmless and beneficial animal become a feared bringer of death? There are a lot of different theories as to why the bat and Halloween go hand in hand. Nocturnal animals are often associated with death and darkness. Bats are mysterious because they are active at night and have been shrouded in superstition since ancient times. For centuries, tales of blood-sucking creatures known as vampires spread throughout Europe. These winged demons stalked the night to prey on the blood of unsuspecting victims. Spanish colonizers encountered vampire bats in South America in the 17th century and brought back those tales to Europe. Soon, tales of these blood-hungry bats spread throughout the continent. It's hard to say when vampires became connected with bats, but sometime between the late 1700s and 1800s, examples of vampires transforming into bats appear in fiction. But maybe the real person to blame for the modern spooky association is Bram Stoker, the author of Dracula. Bats have been intertwined with vampires before Dracula as a result of the vampire bat's existence. But Stoker deepened the association by making Dracula able to transform into one at will. Count Dracula has become the quintessential vampire and has influenced many of the modern vampires in fiction today. Thus, bats and vampires have been linked together for better or worse. The connection between bats and Halloween makes total sense. Bats are generally nocturnal and they drink blood, right? Well, not exactly. Only three species of bats actually feed on blood, while the other 1,300 species of bats eat insects, fruits, and nectar from flowers. So you don't really need to be afraid of bats, unless you are a moth or mosquito. Bats can eat over a thousand flying insects in a single night. With a huge appetite like that, bats are extremely beneficial to humans and the environment by eating pesky insects that spread diseases and destroy crops. Bats aren't only beneficial because they eat insects. Bats also help pollinate over 700 plants, including many we love to eat, such as avocados, bananas, peaches, and mangoes. That's right, you can thank bats for your avocado toast. So when you decorate for your Halloween party this year and hang up your spooky bat decorations, remember that they help people, plants, and the planet. And maybe this year, we can all channel our inner vampire and be as beneficial as a bat. We are merry, we are not so scary. Bats and cats and rats and spiders, please be aware, do not be afraid.